I want to talk today about a subject that we don't focus on too much in the African American community. I want to raise our awareness. We must never, we must say never again to being tricked into destroying ourselves and destroying our fellow brothers and sisters. We spend a lot of time talking about racial discrimination. We speak up when we think people are treating us a certain way because we're from the other side of the track, so to speak. So classism rattles us more than this subject seems to. More recently, we've been talking more about sexism and discrimination based on sexual orientation, but rarely do we speak on religious discrimination and how it impedes our progress as a people and plays into the brainwashing that has been used to make us resort to monolithic thinking that is not conducive to identifying, exploring, discussing, and implementing solutions to the issues that plague and destroy our community. Do you realize that it is this mindset of marginalization and discrimination that helped launch the development of the shadow slave trade? We often act negatively towards one another without being certain or in an effort to go along in order to perhaps get along. Or perhaps we're promised something or we owe somebody something. And despite our better judgment, we do their bidding and treat one another poorly, seek to kill one another or hurt one another. The important aspect of all of this is that we oftentimes just don't know how damaging this behavior is. Let's talk about it. And hopefully we will all think about it. And once we know better, we can do better. Because this type of behavior has ancestral roots that must be eradicated in order for our ancient wounds to heal. Lack of knowledge is the enemy to progress in our community. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that we must acquire knowledge. It enables its professor to distinguish right from wrong. It lights the way to heaven. It is our friend in the desert, our society in solitude, our companion when friendless. It guides us to happiness. It sustains us in misery. It is an ornament among our friends and an armor against enemies. 